Today we're doing Lesson 57 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 57 is a review lesson and it covers Lessons 31 through 35. Lesson 31, I am not the victim of the world I see. How can I be the victim of a world that can be completely undone if I so choose? My chains are loosened. I can drop them off merely by desiring to do so. The prison door is open. I can leave simply by walking out. Nothing holds me in this world. Only my wish to stay keeps me a prisoner. I would give up my insane wishes and walk into the sunlight at last. Lesson 32. I have invented the world I see. I made up the prison in which I see myself. All I need do is recognize this and I am free. I have deluded myself into believing it is possible to imprison the Son of God. I was bitterly mistaken in this belief which I no longer want. The Son of God must be forever free. He is as God created him, and not what I would make of him. He is where God would have him be, and not where I thought to hold him prisoner. Lesson 33. There is another way of looking at the world. Since the purpose of the world is not the one I ascribe to it, there must be another way of looking at it. I see everything upside down, and my thoughts are the opposite of truth. I see the world as a prisoner for God's Son. It must be, then, that the world is really a place where he can be set free. I would look upon the world as it is, and see it as a place where the Son of God finds his freedom. Lesson 34. I could see peace instead of this. When I see the world as a place of freedom, I realize that it reflects the laws of God instead of the rules I made up for it to obey. I will understand that peace, not war, abides in it. And I will perceive that peace also abides in the hearts of all who share this place with me. And Lesson 35. My mind is part of God's. I am very holy. As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, I begin to understand that this peace comes from deep inside myself. The world I look upon has taken on the light of my forgiveness and shines forgiveness back at me. In this light, I begin to see what my illusions about myself kept hidden. I begin to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself, and their oneness with me. That's Lesson 57, which covers Lessons 31 through 35. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, just go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.